All right, so I'm gonna be creating a floating bed. Yeah, these are the materials. So I'm gonna make a king size bed frame. So let's see how I do on this project. All right, now that I've cut my main boards with my handy dandy saw that I bought for 70 bucks on Marketplace. Anyways, let's put these pieces together. I brought in my handy dandy impact drill and got some longer screws, slightly longer screws. They're, uh, the other ones are three and an eighth. These are three and three fourths. And I got four instead of the three in there because there was a gap I was struggling with. So look at that, no gap. Fix it with an impact drill and longer screws. And All right, so I have the headboard piece on there. And so I can attach a headboard. Also, these pieces are in the roofing section of Menards. I will show you later where in Menards that section is to find these. The rafter ties at Menards, what I use to combine those boards, the first layer to the second layer. Yeah. Also, you will notice that I switched out the middle board for a thicker one because this one here was not doing it. Yeah, uh, every time I would screw in in the middle there, it would split the board. So we went with a thicker board. Got my pieces all cut for the second level, ready to screw on this piece to those pieces. Then I'll layer it on top of there and add on those pieces. Occasionally we'll break a drill bit. So, yay. All right, as you can tell, I tried to get creative here with trying to get this up off the ground with several boards one at a time because otherwise this thing kept falling but i finally got up to the height i wanted it and now i can get those two corner pieces attached all right so i have attached the led strip the adhesive part really didn't work so i used a stapler to attach it on there because the sticky stuff was not working. I have not tested this strip to see if it even worked yet, so we're gonna do that now. All right, so I've got this board here attached. I measured the space to make sure they're even on both sides. Got them attached to these little corner pieces. Same with this board, is also attached to those. All I gotta do is put the remaining boards in between. I also got these boards in place with these little doohickeys and some screws on the sides so my cat can have a little place under the bed all right i found a cord that was long enough but it's a little too long but it'll do for now it works every single bulb can't wait till i put the mattress on top if you were wondering why there are boards in the middle, it's to prevent the kitty from getting too far in there and uh, prevent her from storing her toys all the way in there. So yeah. My floating bed project is done. Check it out. So I've got the remaining boards in there. I added two in the middle so that the cat can't crawl under. Once I get the mattress on there, she won't be able to think she can fit in those gaps. All right, now to test. Let's see how stable this is. All right, so far a little tricky, but sturdy. I'm not very good at this stuff, so. Moment of truth. on LED lights. There we go. With the cat underneath. Look at that. 